Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve Cambridge exam, October, November 2021, paper 62. Let's start it. Question 1. Carbon dioxide is a colorless gas. This is denser than air. Carbon dioxide can be made by reacting marble chaps with dilute hydrochloric acid. The equation is as shown. Marble chaps calcium carbonate react with hydrochloric acid and the products are calcium chloride, carbon dioxide gas, and water. A student tried to make and collect carbon dioxide gas using this apparatus shown. Name the substance labeled A and B. A is hydrochloric acid and B is a marble chaps. Name the item of the apparatus labeled C. C is a conical flask. Explain why very little carbon dioxide gas would be collected using the apparatus shown. He mentioned here that carbon dioxide is denser than air, so it cannot be collected by this way because it will drop out of the jar. Question C. Complete the diagram to show how carbon dioxide gas could be collected and the volume could be measured. The apparatus used to collect and measure the volume is gas syringe. So we will complete the diagram drawing a gas syringe showing a scale for the volume could be collected of carbon dioxide. At the end of the experiment, there were unreacted marble chaps and aqueous calcium chloride in the item of the apparatus labeled C, the conical flask. Describe how would you find the mass of the unreacted marble chaps. First, we will filter out the solution from the conical flask. Marble chaps will be on the filter paper. Wash the marble chaps with dusted water, then dry it and weigh it. Question 2. A student investigate the reaction between two different solutions. The first one, aqueous sodium carbonate with two different solutions, K and L, and two different solutions of dilute hydrochloric acid with two different concentrations, M and N. Three experiments were done. In the first experiment, solution K, sodium carbonate, react with 25 cm cube of solution M, hydrochloric acid, we are using methyl orange as indicator and the conical flask was placed on a white tile. Solution K was slowly added from the purette while the flask was swirled until the solution just a change in color. Here is the initial reading and the final reading for solution K. So we can calculate the volume of solution K used which is 23.6 milliliter. Experiment 2 done as exactly as experiment one but we are using 25 centimeter cube of solution n hydrochloric acid same indicator and same process the final and the initial reading of solution k you then we can calculate the volume of solution k which is 11.8 in the third experiment we are using sodium carbonate of solution l with 25 centimeter cube of the acid solution N. Again, we will find the initial and the final reading of solution L. So the volume of solution L will be measured as 23.7 milliliters. Question B, state the color change observed at the end point in the conical flask in experiment one. In the conical flask, we have HCl, so the color of methyl orange in acid media is red, and it will change to orange, which is the color of the indicator in neutral media. Describe other observation made when solution K is added to solution M. The observation is effervescence, which of course due to formation of carbon dioxide. Compare the volume of solution K that is used in experiment 1 and in experiment 2. In experiment 1, we used 23.6 cm3 and in experiment 2, we use 11.8 cm3. So we use a greater volume in experiment 1, it is twice as that in experiment 2. Suggest why different volumes of solution K were needed in experiment 1 than in experiment 2, because solution M, which is used in experiment 1, is more concentrated than solution N. In experiment 2. Did you use the volume of solution L required to reach the end point if experiment 3 is repeated using 
acid M in place of acid N. As we can see, solution M is double the concentration of N, so we will use double the volume of solution L. Solution L was 23.7 cm cube. We will double this volume in case if the experiment repeated using acid N, so it will be 47.4 cm cube. Explain why the conical flask was rinsed with water at the start of experiment 2 and experiment 3. It is rinsed with water to remove any residue from the previous experiment. At the start of experiment 3, the purette was rinsed with water. Describe an additional step that should have been done after rinsing the purette with water but before filling the purette with solution L and explain your answer. Before fill it with solution L, it should be rinsed with solution L to avoid any dilution of solution L with any remaining water in the purette. Explain why the conical flask is placed on a white tile. The white tile makes you clearly see the color change at the end point. Describe how the reliability of the results can be confirmed. Repeat the experiment and compare the results. State one source of error in experiment 1 and suggest an improvement to reduce this error. The source of error is using measuring cylinder which is inaccurate and we can use the pipette as improvement because it gives more accurate volume. Question 3. Solid O and solution P were analyzed solid O with ammonium bromide. Tests were done on each substance. First, test on solution O. Complete the expected observations. Solid O was dissolved in water to form solution O. Then, solution O was divided into four approximately equal portions in four test tubes. To the first portion of solution O, approximately 2 cm cube of aqueous ammonia was added and here will, there will be no reaction and no change. The observation is no change. To the second portion of solution O, 2 cm cube of aqueous sodium hydroxide was added, the mixture warmed and a gas is given off. This is the test for ammonium ions or ammonium salts reaction with sodium hydroxide to produce ammonia gas. So our observation will be the gas will turn the damned litmus paper from a uh, change from red to blue and the gas is ammonia gas. The third portion of solution O, one centimeter cube of dilute nitric acid followed by a few drops of silver nitrate were added. Silver nitrate will react with ammonium bromide to give silver bromide which is creamy precipitate so our observation will be creamy precipitate is formed to the fourth portion of solution o one centimeter cube aqueous chlorine was added the observation is solution becomes orange because chlorine is more reactive than bromine so it will displace bromine from its salt bromine solution is orange brown in color so the orange color due to formation of bromine Test on liquid P. Test 1. A few drops of liquid B were placed in crucible and a lighter splint was applied to the surface of the liquid P in the crucible. Liquid B burns with an orange flame and a lot of smoke and soot was left around the top of the crucible. Burns gives a lot of smoke and a lot of soot so it's a hydrocarbon. Test 2. A few drops of liquid P were added to test a tube containing aqueous bromine. The color changed from orange to colors. This is a test for unsaturation, so this compound contains double bond and it's alkene. State the conclusions that can be made about liquid B. Liquid B is an organic hydrocarbon and it is flammable, it is unsaturated or it is alkene. Question 4. Cobalt is a metal and cobalt is between copper and iron in the reactivity series. So cobalt is less reactive than iron and more reactive than copper. The mineral ore of cobalt contains the compound cobalt 2 carbonate and no other metal ions. Cobalt carbonate is insoluble in wood and it reacts with acid to form an aqueous solution of a cobalt salt. 
So the cobalt carbonate is insoluble in water but can give me a soluble cobalt salt when it reacts with acid. Describe how you would obtain a sample of cobalt metal. Starting with a large lump of the or spherocopaltite, you have access to all normal laboratory apparatus and chemicals. Okay. So we have to use the information given to prepare sample of cobalt metal. First, we have to obtain a soluble cobalt salt, then cobalt metal. So we will crush the lumps of the cobalt ore using mortar and pestle. Then we will add dilute hydrochloric acid, which will react to produce cobalt chloride. The ore contain cobalt carbonate, so it will react with hydrochloric acid to give cobalt chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. This cobalt chloride is a soluble salt that, be, that will obtain when the ore react with acid. Then we will use the second information that cobalt is less reactive than iron and more reactive than copper. We will add a more reactive metal, which is iron, so the cobalt will be displaced as a cobalt metal, and the solution will turn to iron chloride. Then we will filter the solution, and cobalt metal will be obtained as residue. Here we come to the end of our exam. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all the updates. Thank you for watching. Wish you all best of luck.